When you talk about just this venue, you've been to a lot of great locations. This venue in, right here is amazing. We've had some really great ones, Chris. We had uh, in Torino in the Winter Olympics, we were in the middle of a beautiful piazza. In Sydney, we were in the middle of the Olympic Park. We've been on top of a mountain. 90 seconds, guys, 90 back. We've had times, Chris, where we literally will be interviewing an athlete. Their hair is still wet, the gold medals <laughs> around their neck. They've yeah. just come from the pool. It's the biggest moment of their life. As interviewers, as journalists, you can't find a better situation. For Matt Lauer, this will be his 11th Olympic Games that he has covered, and he could be covering a few more considering NBC is contracted to air the Olympic Games through 2032. Along Lemmy Beach, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 News. Thanks, Paul. Pete Carroll has been preaching it for years. It's not how you start a game, it's how you finish it. The Hawks were down 14 to nothing in the first half to Arizona, 31 to 18 in the fourth quarter, but the Hawks still found a way to battle back. High school students have put this Bearcat bus together and they fit as many students in this bus as possible. Here they come. All right, here they come. They pass this on from class to class. The Bearcat bus, they just keep coming on out of here. It's absolutely amazing. They're throwing them out. Baby Bearcats are coming on out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tonight they got Mariner. They're undefeated so oh far this season. God. Tristan, a senior here at Monroe. Tell me a little quickly about this bus real quick. They're expecting temperatures up into the 90s. And oh yes, by the way, it is wintertime along Copa Cabana Beach. Behind me, the volleyball venue. It is absolutely amazing. You can hear the crowd going wild. Kind of gives you goosebumps. Yes, the games are underway. We've got a lot of Northwest athletes to talk about. Paul, here we go. 1991 Old District player for Piaupai. Here we go. All right, it's time. You <laughs> here we go. How wet is it? <laughs> That's how wet it is out here. Sumner, are you ready to go? Can I get a rib? Can I get a rib? All right. Paul, we got ribs. We got hot dogs. We got. Oh, my goodness. That's hot. Uh, and we'll have highlights for you tonight at 9, 10, and 11. I think I just burnt my finger. <laughs> Let's send it back to you, Paul. <laughs> That thing was hot. Yeah. I don't think he's acting, folks. I think he really got burned there. Wow. Negative nine outside right now. It is awfully chilly. The Viking fans take it over out here. Good evening from Rio. Well, this morning, about 500 yards from here at the Aquatic Stadium, Nathan Adrian looked calm, cool, and confident in the pool as he made preparations. He will race in the 4x100 relay on Sunday. No question, Michael Phelps is still the big star of Team USA Swimming, but Adrian, the Bremerton native, is still a pretty big deal at these Olympic Games. We are getting awfully close, just about a half an hour away now before Washington and Syracuse will tip things off in the second semi-final game. Husky fans, they are taking over the city. Jim and Caroline Woo! came all the way from Bremerton. Are you ready to go? You ready yeah. to watch the dogs? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, I love the hair, by the way. Thank you very much, she picked it out. Here's the thing, they're here, but not a lot of Husky fans thought the Huskies would be here in the Final Four. In fact, ESPN does a women's basketball bracket challenge, and only 12 people in the world thought Washington would be in the Final Four. The Kenwood Roller Coaster, let's do it. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chris. BMO Field is just a stone's throw away from Lake Ontario. Here it is, Lake Ontario behind me. The big concern is that wind chill coming off the water right into the stadium. Match kicks off tomorrow at 8 o'clock. It's going to end around 10.30, maybe even at 11 o'clock. So it definitely will be a cold final tomorrow in Toronto. I'm getting goosebumps right yeah. now. It's fun to see Alex Rozier there from Cooperstown. Number 24, Junior the Kid, in my mind, Ken Griffey Jr., is the greatest baseball player of all time. A 13-time All-Star. All right, all these Seahawks.
Gamecock fans here. They're going to run into some familiar faces today from the Carolina Panthers. Jonathan Stewart and Shaq Thompson. Jonathan Stewart, he was drafted by the Carolina Panthers back in 2008. Since then, he has rushed for over 5,000 yards. He was a Pro Bowler this year. But Stewart's success here in Carolina should come to no surprise to everybody that watched him back at Timberline High School. Huskies starting to cool down just a little bit. In their last six games, they've now gone three and three. And today, they shot a dismal 36% from the field against the USC Trojans. The Kings Court travels along with their hero today as Felix Hernandez takes the hill in Cincinnati. Felix gives up no runs on four hits Play. over six innings. He lowers his ERA to 2.21. The M's offense gives him some support. Leonis Martin only hitting 231, but he rocks his eighth of the season. M's lead it one another. And then in the fourth, Franklin Gutierrez truly does get all of this one. A titanic shot to the upper deck, 473 feet. Good evening from Ipanema. Always a party at the beaches in Rio, and there'll be a party at the track this weekend as well. Usain Bolt turns 30 on Sunday. Tonight, he goes for his ninth gold medal. Jamaica versus the USA in the 4x100 relay. What an amazing sign at CenturyLink today as the Seahawks bring out a massive American flag and lock arms to honor America. Over 60,000 on hand to watch the Hawks in Miami in the big season opener. Alan Hinton joins us now, and Alan Hinton, you've got goosebumps over there. I know you're talking to me. It, it doesn't get any better than this, does it, Alan? Uh, absolutely not. I've been here almost 40 years now, and I've got to tell you, this is my best soccer moment. Paul, you mentioned the rushing attack. LaVon Coleman, Miles Gaskin, the O'Day star. How about 260 yards combined? Some say the offensive line, they played their best game of the year tonight. The defense continues to shine bright. Jake Browning, the quarterback of the Huskies, he says, well, he didn't play his best game tonight, but in the end, all that matters, the Dogs won, and they're Pac-12 champions. Well, on the scoreboard, the Huskies lost to Syracuse by 21 points. On the stat sheet, the big loss was the battle for rebounds. Syracuse had an impressive 17 offensive rebounds. The Huskies had just four. One of the great stories of these Rio games is former Washington State Cougar Bernard Lagat. At the age of 41, he will be competing in his fifth Olympic Games. But he won't be the only one from the Northwest who will be running in the 5,000 meter race. Good evening from Toronto and what a night here, especially for Seattle Sounders fans, the players and the coaches. And does the view get much better for everybody back home in Seattle tonight? There you go. Blue and green Sounders confetti all over the field. Yes, what a night for those Sounders who didn't have one shot on goal until the PKs. They fought to the finish and they are headed home with their first ever MLS championship. Now, right after the match, it was a mix of emotions, pure joy with a little mix of shock. Players and coaches in tears chasing down their family members for hugs. And once they cleared the field, yeah, it was off to the locker room for a big old party, a traditional champagne victory celebration. It was absolutely amazing as the players let out their emotions. It was a roller coaster season with a very, very sweet ending. How about a seven foot wingspan to give you some perspective on what a seven foot wingspan looks like? We got to keep going. That is a seven foot wingspan and that is now a member of the Seattle Seahawks. Lemmy Beach, Copacabana Beach behind me. Lester joins us now. And I mean, I tell you, you look at the view behind us. I mean, it, it, this beats working, right? You realize no one watching this thinks we're working for a living. On this. <laughs> and I, you know what? I'm not sure we're working for a living either. This is pretty awesome. The Sportsman Show runs through Sunday at the Washington State Fairgrounds. This is not duck country, all right? This is Husky and Coog country. You got anything for us here? Take it away. All right, not really a Husky or a Coog, but it will work. NPL, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports. So first of all, I want you to take your right hand. Okay. Put it behind your head. Put your left hand. Freeze! Get down! No, I'm joking. <laughs> put both of them behind your head. Okay. And then you got to go in a circle. So pretend like you're going from the West Coast 
to the East Coast. West Coast to the East Coast. Coast. And then go around and no, no, go circle, not do a circle, no. Yeah, there it is, there it oh, is. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. feeling then, it. Big thanks to all the athletic directors out there. And, Paul, we also want to thank all the King 5 photographers out there. And there's one right there, Tate Miller. He wants to <laughs> throw, throw a ball. There you go, Tate. Look at that. Oh, nice. Touchdown, Tate Miller. <laughs> Not a bad catch, huh? We're about two miles south of the Today Show along Lemmy Beach. This place is absolutely packed. Clothing optional today. I feel like I'm wearing enough clothes to go up to Snoqualmie Pass this morning, but just a gorgeous day out here on Copacabana Beach. Swimming officially wrapped up over the weekend. Nathan Adrian ended his Olympics with a gold medal on Saturday night in the 4x100 medley relay. I had the pleasure of sitting out with Adrian yesterday to talk about his Olympic experience and about growing up in Bremerton. When he was in the seventh grade, he decided to join a swim club in Tacoma, and his parents were always by his side helping him chase his dream. He says without mom and dad, there is no way he would have eight Olympic medals. You ready for a game of horse? Born ready. You're going down, Stuart Bird. To Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> this epic game of horse is about to go down. Since we're in the same outfit, we're going to be one team. Okay. Taking on you, Chris. Storm taking on the home team. Here we go, game of horse. I think there's no doubt after tonight, you guys will be battling in the playoffs, correct? Uh, we don't worry about that. No. We're That's taking one step at a time. We'll see you guys in the bowl season. Enjoy the spend for now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you give us all one big kiss here for everybody back at King 5? Well done, guys. So I'm looking for people that can bend and jump. And thanks to some help from former Seahawk Paul Johns, I answered Jim Zorn's call with my best jump since the 1991 state basketball tournament. And after King 5 took a first to the shuttle run, it was little Egan Luke who wrapped up the day with a pass and high five from Zorn. For some, the media day, a humbling. For others, maybe a possible calling. I got a text from John Schneider saying I want to see you out here tomorrow. Really? So that's a good sign, isn't it? Well, it could be misleading at the same time, too, as well, because a lot of times it's, it's better if you got a phone call. So you don't think it's a tryout? Far from it. Far from it. <laughs> I gotta ask a fun question. Uh, there's a wrestler named the Miracle Michael Bennett. Have you even heard of that? I've seen him, but he's not the real me. He's not the real you. He's not me, cause when I grab these 23 inch pythons and wrap them around your neck, ooh, they're gonna feel it. And then when the WWE Championship belt is around my waist, everybody's gonna love it. The women are going to go crazy, and the fellows are going to be jealous because once again, I'm the champ. I am the champ. I love, I used to love wrestling growing up. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior. Oh. Those are, those are, those are, that's where I grew up. You know, that's the uh, best times, Yeah, those it? are the best times. Uh, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I just always had the greatest impression. What would your name, have you ever thought about your wrestling name, what you would be? Um, Black Santa. <laughs> Black Santa. Or when I go at this elbow and I come off the top rope, I mean, when I come off the top rope, they're going to feel this elbow from here to Japan. He's Not coming. <laughs>